Welcome back to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to dive into a quick and easy way to create a customized world map with highlighted countries. This technique can be used to create various thematic maps, such as maps showing population density, economic indicators, or political divisions. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. Let's get started. First, let's set the stage. Right click on your slides background. A menu will pop up. Select format background. A new window will open on the right side. Click on solid fill then color. A color palette will appear. We're going to use a custom color. Click on custom and then enter the hex code 171717. Click OK. This will give us a deep gray background. Now let's add our map. Go to the insert tab and click on picture. Select this device to choose your map image. Once your map is inserted, resize it to fit your slide and position it where you want it. To make it easier to work with, let's convert it to a shape. With all the bits of the map still selected, right click and group the shape. Now let's adjust the look of our map. Select the shape and go to shape fill. Choose a light gray color to contrast with the dark background. Finally, let's remove the outline. Go to Shape Outline and use the eyedropper tool to pick the color of the background. This will make the outline invisible. Now, let's add a title to our map. Go to the Insert tab and select a text box. Drag and drop the text box onto your slide. Type your title into the text box. Let's also increase the font size and change the color to white to stand out against the dark background. Change the font to Poppins and make it bold. Next, we'll highlight specific countries on our map. Add the name of each country as a text box, make it white and bold. Let's say we want to highlight these five countries. First, right click on the map and select copy. Now we'll ungroup the map to separate the individual countries. Select the countries you want to highlight. Right click on the selected countries and group them together. Now let's clean up our slide. Select the entire map holding the right click button and dragging. Then hold down the control key while clicking on the last grouped map to deselect it. With the unwanted map parts selected, press delete to remove them. Now paste the copied map back onto the slide by pressing control V. Right click on the pasted map and select send to back. Let's ungroup the map again to work with individual countries. Now we'll add location markers to our map. From the shape section, select the teardrop shape. Draw a teardrop on your slide and rotate it to resemble a location marker. To remove the outline, go to Shape Outline and select No Outline. Next, add a circle behind the teardrop to create a more complete location marker. Select the circle shape and draw it over the teardrop. Group the teardrop and circle together by pressing Ctrl G. Place the marker on the first country you want to highlight. Duplicate the location marker by pressing Ctrl Shift left click and dragging it onto the second country on your list. Repeat these steps until you have marked each country. To change the color of the marker, right click on it and select Format Shape. In the Format Shape pane, you can choose a solid fill color from the color palette. 
To use a custom color, click on more colors and enter the hex code for your desired color. Now, position the country names near their corresponding location markers. To connect the country names to their locations, use the line shape. Draw a line from the text box to the location marker. To match the color of the line to the location marker, use the eyedropper tool to select the marker's color. Repeat this process for all the countries on your map. You can select all elements and align them wherever you'd like on the slide. Next, duplicate the title text box and resize it. Rotate it to fill the empty space on the right side of the slide. Align the text. To add a gradient fill to the title text, right click on the text box and select Format Shape. Go to Text Fill and choose Gradient Fill. Remove the default gradient stops and add new stops. Use the eyedropper tool to select colors from the map to create a visually appealing gradient. Now, let's add some animation to make our slide more engaging. Select the title text and go to Animation. Select Fly in Animation. In the effect options, set the direction of the animation to from right. Then click on this arrow and change all at once to by letter for a more awesome effect. Set the smooth start and bounce end settings to fine tune the animation. In the timing section, increase the duration and set start to with previous. Next, select all the location icons and apply a float in animation. Set the direction of the animation to downwards. Adjust the duration and delay to synchronize the animation with the title. For the lines connecting location icons to country names, apply a wipe animation. You can also open the animation pane for a better view of the order in which animations will occur. Adjust the direction, duration, and delay for all animations to coordinate well with each other. Finally, Select the country names and apply a wipe animation.
to preview your animation, start the slideshow. If the animations of the country names appear too fast, you can adjust the delay time in the timing section of the animation pane. This will create a more gradual reveal of the information. Now let's create individual slides for each country. Duplicate the slide with the full world map. Delete all the elements except for the country map and the location icons. For each country, select the corresponding map and change its fill color to match the color of the location icon. This will help visually distinguish each country. Duplicate the slide with the full world map five times to create slides for each of the five countries we'll focus on. Drag the maps of the other countries to the right side of the slide, outside the visible area. On the first slide, place the map of the first country in the center. Repeat this process for the remaining slides, ensuring a smooth transition between countries. When arranging the maps, consider the size and placement of each country. The country that is the primary focus of the slide should be larger and more prominent. To create a smooth transition between slides, select all your slides and apply the morph transition to each one. Start the slideshow and scroll through the slides. close attention to the transitions between countries. To make your presentation more interactive, let's add action buttons to the location icons. Double click on a location icon and select the circle part of the icon. Go to the insert tab and click on action. A new window will appear. Select mouse click and choose hyperlink to. In the slide dropdown, select the slide you want to link to, the one with a detailed view of that specific country. Start the slideshow and click on the location icon. You should be automatically taken to the link slide. Repeat this process for all the location icons, linking them to their respective slides. your audience can now explore different countries and topics at their own pace. To navigate back to the main slide from each individual slide, we'll create a simple navigation system. Insert an arrow shape into the bottom left corner of each slide. Remove the outline of the arrow and fill it with a color. Add the text main slide to the arrow and rotate it horizontally. Right click on the arrow and select hyperlink. Choose the slide number of the main slide to create a link back to the main menu. Copy and paste the navigation arrow to the other slides, ensuring they point to the correct slide. Now let's add content to the country slides. You can also add bullet points and numbered lists to organize any additional information. Since we have some data to present, we'll be creating some pie charts. Use the oval shape while holding the shift key to create a circle.
To represent the remaining portion, use a block arc shape. Adjust the arc size and position to cover the remaining area of the larger circle. Fill the smaller circle with a color of your choice. This represents a portion of the whole. Add text to the smaller circle to indicate the percentage it represents. Duplicate the pie chart and adjust the sizes and colors to create multiple pie charts. To enhance the visual appeal, add icons to each pie chart. Arrange the pie charts and text on the slide to create a visually appealing layout. Duplicate the slide with the pie charts to create additional slides for different sections of your presentation. Once your slides are ready, preview the slideshow to preview the cool animated morph map presentation you've created. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video.